PGA precision. I want to thank those guys so, for working so closely with us on this. Obviously, this is all brand new. This is a beta. Their UI is going to change a little bit. But what's happening here is on the left-hand side, you're looking at the voltage frequency curve inside of your GPU. You see that little thing rising there? That is the calculated offset at that voltage point. On the right-hand side, this is the current voltage and frequency. So voltage is on the right, the frequency is on the left. And you can kind of see that little stair step thing going up. We're at 1635, 1650 at 0.7 volts. And you see how predictable that is? The clock is not jittering around. It's not going crazy places. We are testing because we control the application and we control the voltage point that we're running at. We're testing the exact point. Okay, this is now science. So if you see, uh, we've now had our first failure. So as the voltage increased, see how it went up to 0.83? That means that we were testing, 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 and we had a, a data missing. So now we've increased the voltage, and you see on the left, we're kind of ticking up that voltage frequency curve again, testing our second point. Guess what, we just had a failure, and you guys saw for just a second a flash. That flash was the test load dying, but it got recovered by the application and we continued at the same frequency point. So the cool part is, now you are running, 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 you're crashing, your data is comparing, but the process of testing never failed. <clears throat> All right, so now we are up to 2.01, we just failed. So now we're on to our last test point. We're running at about one volt, 1.06. We're at 1980 on the frequency. So you can see what's happening is we're, we're walking with this very precise voltage frequency curve searching for a failure. It's pretty cool, and it's very reliable, and it's a one-click. So if you're a user and you want to overclock, what you do right now is you click scan. And then this entire process, which just finished, you can see I ended up at uh, 2130, and that was the last test point that failed. Okay, so running this version, I mean, this is all cars. Of course, your mileage is going to vary. This is Turing. This is a GTX, I'm sorry, an RTX 2080. And effectively, we have discovered a nice margin. Let's go ahead and go forward in the slides. So uh, on the right hand, on the left hand side, you'll see a blue line. And the blue line was your original voltage frequency curve. The green dots represent the new calculated curve. And with one click, the user can apply that, and you'll see new gain performance. So depending on your GPU, you're going to see you know, overclocking somewhere around 10% on average. Uh, we're being very conservative. This particular game sees, you know, around 5% per foot. So, 